your own body hello everybody Tom here today I want to talk about something that a lot of us guys don't do very well and I this isn't like trying to be sexist or anything but I think it's very important because statistically women are more likely to go to the doctors if they think there's something wrong than what us guys are now there is a real issue here and I don't mind telling you that recently I had to go to the doctors, I had a health scare and uh, hopefully I will be alright in the future. But I say hopefully, none of us know. Every single one of us knows when we don't feel right. Whether that be mentally, emotionally or physically or a combination of all three. Okay, When you're not well you're not well, okay? And no medical professional can call you a hypochondriac or tell you that you're wrong. If you feel unwell, I'm telling you now, get to the doctors. Get checked, get diagnosed, whatever. Go as soon as you need to, go, all right? Do not hesitate. It may be too late if you do. I don't sound morbid, but there's a strong chance whatever it is you have is not serious, it is treatable, or, you know, you're perhaps overthinking what it is and actually it's something that will go away within time. The fact of the matter is you cannot sit on it and not do anything, okay? Yes, my channel has mainly been geared about mental health, but... There is also a, a leniency towards well-being as well. And well-being affecting everything, like your health, your mental health affecting your, your emotional health and your physical health, everything. So today, this isn't going to be a long video, but it's a very short and sweet message, which I want you all that are watching to really consider. If you're feeling unwell, and when I say unwell, you've, you've felt off for a while. I'm not just talking about you woke up one morning, you're feeling a bit groggy, or you've got a 24-hour bug or whatever. That can happen to anybody. I'm talking about for a prolonged period, you don't feel 100%. And you know in yourself, something's not right. Don't hesitate. Pick up the phone and go to the doctor's. And this is mainly for the guys. We are the worst. We avoid going to the doctors. We avoid talking about our mental health. We avoid issues. We're almost embarrassed. Oh, I'm a man, I've got to be strong. You're human at the end of the day, or well, most of us are. You are, if you're not well, you get it checked out straight away. Don't worry about being labelled, uh, you know, hypochondriac or whatever. Your health is one of the most important things that anybody has got. I value my health. I value it enough to know that when I'm not well, or when I feel unwell, generally unwell, I will not hesitate. I will pick up the phone. I will get down to the doctors. I understand for anybody living in the UK, I don't know how it is abroad, but for in the UK, it's a terrible system. It's a terrible system because our National Health Service is absolutely on its knees and has been for years it's underfunded they've not got enough staff there's a lot of complacency and it's just not working well however it's still probably one of the better ones in the whole world all right so don't allow that to put you off don't think well they're not going to see me they're not going to help me quickly because I was seen very quickly the other day. Like, literally the same day I, I called them up about it. 
And I say thank you to that person that helped me for being so prompt and for taking what I thought, well, the ailment I think I may have very seriously. That's good. That's what you expect. You don't always get that service, but you can't allow the perhaps getting somebody that's not sort of aligned and doesn't want to push you forward to delay you being checked. You must, if you don't feel well, Report it and report it ASAP. And I'm asking you all now, most of you know when you're not well. Most of you know as adult when you're not feeling right. And if you're not feeling right over a prolonged period of time, it could just be something as simple as adjusting your lifestyle. It could be your diet. It could be any number of things. But I would always, if you don't feel good, 100% get yourself down the doctors, all right? I have, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's nothing. But I have to be prepared if it's something, okay? This is a very short video today, and I just want you to all to take from this that your health's really important. And even if you are worried about what it might be and that puts you off going to doctors, I was concerned, very. You have to, have to make that decision to do it, okay? For your own peace of mind, you'll go crazy, right? First of three videos this week, I want to say thank you all ever so much for listening. I really appreciate time and energy spent here on my channel. Thank you kindly. First of three, as I said, please put down in the comment section below, are you somebody that goes to the doctors? Do you think you know when you're not well? Or are you someone that would probably avoid going for whatever reason? And be honest with yourself. If you're somebody that doesn't like going to the doctors, I don't like going to the doctors. I don't like being ill. And I certainly don't like being told you're ill. But at the end of the day, I accept that I'm a human being. The body can go wrong. Things can go happen. As you get older, things can get all of a sudden flare up out of nowhere. You have to be prepared sometimes to go, right, I don't feel good, you know, I'm, you know, and I, and you know like people go on Google and they look at symptoms and they start worrying about what it might be. The mind starts overworking. I've said, don't do that. Yes, I've said, don't do that. But what I also say is be aware of what it could be. Okay, make that connection because that could actually help, really help in the long term please if you would i'd be really grateful please consider hitting that subscribe button down below if you would also please consider hit giving me a thumbs up and a like that'd be really great thank you kindly and please 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 let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know when my next content's out back in a couple of days with another video but as always please take care of yourselves all of you and bye for now